everyone. I hope this video finds you well and making the most of your day. If you are new here, I am Christopher. And if you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, pretty much if you like anything under the sun, you will find something on this channel for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and join the community. And if you're gonna hang out with me here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram. We have a fast growing community over there as well. And it's also just a great way to get to know each other and connect a little bit more. Today I'm bringing you my April favorites and I don't have a bunch of things, but what I do have are truly the things that I have been loving this month. So let's go ahead and jump right in. First, we're gonna dive into some skincare and also some other beauty products that I've been loving, and there are just two of them. The first thing that I wanna share with you is the Bliss What a Melon Reviving Destressing Overnight Mask. I've tried a couple overnight masks, but this is one that I absolutely love. Um, the base is watermelon, and for those who don't know, watermelon is super great for the skin. And what you want to do with this is massage in a thick layer, and then let it dry down, go to bed, and then the next morning wake up and rinse it off. Your skin looks so bright, it's so hydrated, I feel like it locks the moisture in overnight. I have been using this pretty much three to four times a week because I've been working out so much I'm washing my face a lot and it's really drying out my skin and I'm finding that every morning after I use this my skin still feels really hydrated and just looks a lot brighter. I'm loving it and you can pick it up at Target at a reasonable cost. Another product that I am absolutely in love with, once again like I said I've been working out a lot so I've been, I'm a sweater when I work out so I've been washing my hair um, quite frequently and it gets so dry, but I have been using the Brio Geo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This stuff has completely helped my hair stay really conditioned um, and so smooth. I don't know if my hair has ever been smoother and I've also found that styling my hair has been a lot more consistent and easier um, and I don't know if it has anything to do with this but it's really the only thing that has changed. Like it says, you just spray it and leave it in. It has rosehip, argan, and coconut oil. It leaves my hair so silky smooth and like I said, I've been able to style it a lot easier. During the summer months, a lot of us go swimming, a lot of us are exercising outside and getting sweatier. This is a great way to make sure that your hair doesn't dry out. I am loving it. This is the first time I've ever tried a leave-in conditioner and I'm sold. That is all that I have for skincare and beauty because April was a month that I spent a lot of time working on the house refreshing spaces and let me tell you the first thing that has become a favorite and I wish I would have started using them sooner in my decor are plants. I have filled our house with plants. I love a, the aesthetic it brings, it feels like you're bringing the outdoors in. It just makes the house feel so alive and warm and cozy. And I have been putting plants everywhere and just loving how they look. And I would encourage all of you, bring them into your house. It has changed the complete aesthetic of our design and I'm loving it, absolutely loving it. I actually have a tree. You can't see it, but I have like a whole tree right here on my table. The next big home thing for me in April was Target's launch of the Opal House collection. I fell in love with it. I realized that I really liked the aesthetic um, of the Opal House collection, which I was surprised because it did have some brighter colors than I normally would include in my design. But what I really fell in love with was the removable wallpaper. If you watched my Vling Break series, this was the month of removable wallpaper and what a difference it made in the space, how easy it was to apply. I have one more project with removable wallpaper that I wanna do. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it, but I think for such a low cost, it brings such a huge, huge impact to your space. This Panther paper completely shifted the whole design of our bathroom. Um, and then we use this one in our powder room downstairs and yeah, I love them. Besides the wallpaper, I just also love their towels from the Opa House collection. This is a set that have been in my kitchen. They had a bunch, but there was something about this color combo that I loved. And 
how funny is that? Um, yeah, I love them. If you can, go check out the Opal House collection at Target. Pick up a few things. It might feel like it isn't your aesthetic, but you'll be surprised how quickly it can tie in to your design. I'm really loving it. I think it's one of the best collections that Target has launched. Um, and I'm really excited for them to keep this collection moving throughout the different seasons. I would love for like a Christmas collection from Opal House. Uh, in April, for all of you that know me, you know that I stick by the SJP candle as one of my favorite candles as well as I'm a huge diptyque candle person, but I saw this on someone's Instagram, I cannot remember. Um, I searched for it, I found their online presence, they're sold in different stores online, but I actually just went to their base um, site, and it is the company Craft and Foster. You guys all know I love like a balsam fir pine candle. This one is balsam and citrus. It's a natural soy wax candle. They are hand poured in Southern California. And let me tell you, it is the perfect combination of pine and citrus. I love it so much. This has become my bath candle because it throws so much fragrance and it's so relaxing that I light it when I take my bath. Um, they have a bunch of other candles I want to try. They're great. Their shipping was also really, really fast. But this balsam and citrus, this is what dreams are made of. It is a fantastic candle. I encourage you to explore Craft and Foster if you haven't already because this candle is really, really great. It has been a slow book month for me. I actually read um, the Body Positivity book that I had last month, I believe, um, for a second time just because I find it so amazing. I'll leave it linked down below. Um, it's the Body Positive Body Positivity Power, I believe it's is the title. Um, it's such a fantastic book. Um, and with that, both of the books I have are health and wellness, um, mostly cooking healthier food. Um, we do Blue Apron multiple times a week, but for lunch ideas and weekends, I wanted some other options, and I came across two books that I am in love with. The first one is Fed and Fit by Cassie Joy Garcia. First of all, you should be following her on Instagram because she is so inspiring. Um, she's also absolutely stunning. But this is a 28-day food and fitness plan to jumpstart your life. I'm not following the 28-day plan, but I'm using a ton of the recipes. Some of the best frittatas ever for breakfast. This is a great one if you're looking for creative and fun recipes that are healthy. I think this is a great way to go. Another book that I am in love with is True Roots by Kristen Cavallari. I was not a, what was it, The Hills person. I just never got into it. Uh, probably because we didn't get MTV where I lived. It is a recipe book free of gluten, dairy, and refined sugar. It is fantastic. The recipes are great. So far I've made a lot of the breakfast recipes uh, because Blue Apron has covered our dinner, but one of my favorites is the warm coconut oats. I've always been an oatmeal lover, but this oatmeal recipe is the best thing ever. I also really, really enjoyed her writing style, so it actually made me really enjoy the cookbook even more. It's super personal. She talks about her family. Um, yeah, it's just a great book. It's also beautifully shot. Um, I love a cookbook that is really beautifully shot, and this is definitely one of them. So True Roots, Kristen Cavallari. So as you know, I pre-ordered my start planner. It got delivered. Videos are coming. I just finished my vision board last night, and if you actually are watching my vlog um, next win this Wednesday coming up, you'll actually see a glimpse of my vision board. But this month, I've also been using two planners. I've been working out of these two. Um, and I just got to talk about this PVC A5 planner off of Amazon. Um, super reasonable. I think it was like $14.99. Um, I ended up buying this really funny, I swear on my Gucci dashboard. And then in my planner, you guys are familiar with this. This is my uh, manifesto, but I am using the cloth and paper capsule uh, planner pages. Really like them. Uh, but I just love this clear PVC case. It's so cool. I've gotten so many compliments and questions about this. I'm loving it. So this is the planner that I've been working out that has like all of my work stuff and everything. The next question I've been getting nonstop is, are you still bullet journaling? And the answer is yes, I'm still bullet journaling, but 
I have some exciting news. I've actually moved to an 8x5 by 11 bullet journal. Um, I also included like this little fun leather sticker um, on it. And it has all of my collections in it. So all of my collections I have been keeping in this bullet journal. Things I want to consume, I haven't finished filling out this page. If you guys would want a video on my yearly collections, go ahead and leave a comment down below. But I am loving this size. Sometimes I found that the Loish Term 1917 was just a little too small. This size is so ridiculously perfect. I just love it. Um, I found it on Amazon. Also adapt this as a weekly work notebook. Yeah, loving this bullet journal. Let me know if you're interested in a deep dive um, because I love this size. I wish the cover was a little sturdier, but um, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, one tech favorite that I'm going to share are a set of new cell phone cases I got, and they are these ombre really thin silicone cases so it feels like there's nothing on your phone this one's like clear to like this minty tealy blue i have one that's like a dark purple to a teal i really really like them i will leave them linked down below i found them on amazon i was looking for something with like an ombre effect that was really thin and i landed on these lastly you know i always include my monthly playlist so april's monthly playlist is uploaded on spotify as well as a link down below you should check it out it has all my favorite tunes from April. Well, my friends, those are my April favorites. It's not a bunch of stuff, but it's truly the stuff that I have used this month and have really, really enjoyed. I hope that you like some of these products. If you have any questions about them, just shoot a comment down below and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and for some reason, make sure you are still subscribed because I've been contacted by about 57 of you currently that got unsubscribed from the channel, so make sure you're still subscribed and click that little notification bell so you know every time I upload. In the meantime, I'm going to leave this video like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends.